2020 marks the 50th anniversary of the Clean Air Act. It works to try and improve air quality all across the country. The American Lung Association is using the anniversary to check on the nation's air quality. And Bianca Holman looks at how Southern Nevada stacks up. When it comes to particulate matter in the air, we've improved, but ozone levels have increased, putting us in the top 10 worst cities for ozone levels across the country. And that's according to a recent report by the American Lung Association. This is the 21st report card that tracks Americans' exposure to unhealthy levels of ozone pollution and particulate matter. At the last report, we ranked 13th. So this ranking states we saw more unhealthy days regarding air quality. Experts tell us that there are several factors that can impact the rating, especially during the summer months, wildfires, pollutants from cars and trucks, strong sunlight and hot temperatures. This is important because unhealthy air impacts all Americans, especially children, those over the age of 65, um, people with um, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or asthma, even people who have lung cancer or cardiovascular disease. Our local environmental department disagrees with certain parts of the report, especially when it comes to the ozone ranking. They sent this message sharing that they disagree with the report, but realize that both groups have the same goal, which is to educate people on how we can improve the air we share. We asked a rep from the American Lung Association about the impact the social distancing has on our air quality. So as people are, you know, being responsible and, and staying home, practicing social distancing, we have seen air quality improve. The county and the association has suggestions to help decrease ground level pollution. For example, keep your car well maintained, map out trips to ensure the most efficient routes, use public transportation, and they also suggest when you can use electric or solar energy sources. Reporting from Las Vegas, Bianca Holman, 8 News Now. The association's report and the county's rebuttal are available at 8newsnow.com.